I'd like to introduce you to AbdoX, which is our brand new system for analyzing abdominal radiographs. This is a system to help you um, analyze uh, all the features that you really should be looking for in an abdominal radiograph. We don't always use ultrasound to look for appendicitis. And the reason is that sometimes we can't find it. And the appendix often sits down in this area of fat lateral to the psoas. And here it is, a little wiggly worm um, of a loop of bowel that heads back up um, towards the cecal uh, base and ends blindly, just actually in this case, up against a piece of small bowel. This is the case we saw earlier on actually with the example of dirty fat. This appendix we can follow um, all the way back to the base of the cecum, but it extends right the way across midline, which is probably not where we saw appendixes um, in textbooks. What is the best next step? Is it to take them to theatre for washout? Is it request and insert a percutaneous drain? Or is it just to observe? Okay, so the correct answer is observe. Most of you got it right, or the majority got it right, but may, I'm not sure maybe for the right reason. So the, re the reason, and this is something called Surgicel, which is uh, surgical hemostatic material that is placed to stop bleeding, and it looks very much like an abscess. So this is someone who's had a hysterectomy. It's a difficult procedure, lots of intraoperative bleeding. They're having a scan afterwards, and they have formed some collections here with fluid with enhancing margins. But this thing is slightly different. So there's something which is wrapping above the top of the closed vaginal stump, which has got gas and soft tissue within it. And this was, in fact, a pack of Surgicel, which has been placed at the site of bleeding uh, intraoperatively. So it's important to try and identify which is the true and which is the false lumen, okay? So on this image, what do you think, uh, which one do you think is the true lumen of the aorta? Is it A or B? <laughs> Looks pretty even. Let's have a look. Wow. <laughs> Should we lock that? Right, 50-50. So in fact, B um, is the true lumen. Okay, so let's have a look at why. So there's something called the beak sign that can help you. Okay, so the beak sign is a sign of the false lumen. Okay. Our first game is speeditis, okay? I'm going to show you a case, a CT stack. I'm going to scroll through it quickly, and you have to tell me what you think it is, okay? Is it appendicitis, pancreatitis, cholecystitis, diverticulitis, or appendagitis? This is like when you walk into the reporting room and say, can you just look at that scan and give me an answer? That's what it feels like. <laughs> okay, you ready? Are these poles ready and poised and ready for go? Okay, so we're going to scroll through this. You're going to give me an answer. There you go. Are you done? Is anyone voting, Vikas? They are. They're voting, and they're voting well. 